everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. Today is a national holiday in my house. It's the 14th birthday of my youngest son. And out of all the many requests that he has made for this day, the biggest one is for me to cook my famous fried chicken wings. Now in my house, they say that these fried chicken wings are so flavorful, it's like they've been blessed. And hey, can't fight City Hall. Gotta give the birthday boy what he wants and gotta give the public what they ask for. Speaking of which, if you like what I've been bringing to you, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. In any case, if you wanna know how I make these famous, flavorful chicken wings, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up a little. That's okay. We have paprika, cayenne pepper, poultry seasoning, some Italian seasoning, coriander, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, Lowry seasoned salt, Adolf's meat tenderizer, some canola oil, and I am going to make it a little healthier for my family today. I'm using this keto wheat flour. You can use whatever flour you like. And of course, the master of ceremony, some clean, dry, cut up chicken wing pieces. I have a video that shows you how to clean these. Now I'm gonna take these wings and lay them on a flat surface. Of course, you know I cover my counter with foil so it can be disposable. I have the flats on one side, the drums on the other, and we are gonna season it up real good on one side with all those seasonings we saw earlier. And I'm gonna flip it over and season it up on the other side. If it doesn't look like this, it ain't enough seasoning on it. Now I'm gonna take this flour inside this freezer bag and put some of that seasoning in there. And I'm gonna start with my drums because they're a little bit thicker, take longer to cook. I am going to coat them generously with this seasoned flour. And I'm gonna get them on a platter, let them start to air dry as I heat up the oil in my skillet on a high heat. Okay, it's dancing. I'm gonna cover it so it doesn't splatter all over my stove. And let's get that chicken in here. Now I'm ready to get those drums in this oil. Now you don't wanna overcrowd your pan because you don't wanna bring the heat down just yet. And we're gonna start with our first browning. We're gonna cover that up because this is gonna steam the meat through to cook. Let's check that side, see if it's brown enough. Okay, that's perfect. This is the first flip. We're gonna turn the heat down to medium high and we're gonna cover this up and continue steaming this meat through. The reason why is that's gonna make it cook but it's gonna be tender. Let's lift it up, check it and see. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That is the second flip. Oh yeah. This gonna be some good stuff. Let's get that top back on there, continue steaming through. Let's check it out. Let's turn that puppy over. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the third and final flip. We gonna cover it up and when we take it out this time, it's ready for draining. And I'm gonna drain it on a rack because I want all that oil to kinda come off of it so it can stay crisp. That looks so good, and it's ready for what? Plating it up. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at how crispy that is. That's going to be a tender bite. Let me taste, taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so, so delicious. My son. Hey, 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 hey. What you doing? Stop. Get your hands off. Just take your hands off the plate, child. The boy has even eating yet. I'm not finished with dinner. This is for him. This is worth it. Get your hands off of him. I know it's good. Oh, it's good. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
Remember to click that notification bell so you always know when I'm coming back at you with another recipe. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, and you know what I wish you. I wish you love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good day.